time and experience the colorful, music-powered, psychedelic 1960s and 1970s, a book signing this Saturday could be a fun way to try. Bell Bottoms to Gucci drops you into the year 1964 when the first protests of that era were born. It's the second in the Patty Ray series of books from author and local writing instructor Ellen Everman, who is our guest this morning. Ellen, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me on. So uh, this book starts with your character in college yes. in 1964, and that was a pretty tumultuous time yes. in America. Is that a time you experienced yourself? No, I actually had to do quite a bit of research. I was only okay. 13 years old in 64. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but no, I, I had to re do some research, and Patty Ray actually is part of the sequel. The Pink Dice was uh, the novel she was in at first. And then uh, she's 11 years old when you um, leave that book, when you come into this book, She's 18, she's just graduated from high school, and she's gone to UC Berkeley. And she is groomed by a Svengali who's based on Mario Savio, who was the kingpin of the uh, civil rights and free speech movement back in 1964. But, and uh, that character's name is David, and he grooms her to be a typical, stereotypical, uh, protesting campus hippie. Okay. And uh, then they go through the confrontation, the protests, and then after that, uh, she graduates from college, moves back to Cincinnati, and then she goes for the materialistic carrot and goes. Yeah, she sort of America. goes from hippie to yuppie into corporate America, right? Yes, big transformation. Now, how, yeah, what made you take the book in that direction? Well, it was a phenomenon that was so common in those days. Mm -hmm. Many hippies became yuppies. And I wanted to explore that, and I wanted just to explore the entire era to um, illustrate how baby boomers felt in those days. Was mm. A lot of emotional things were going on, the social injustices, which we're still fighting today. And um, it's uh, actually, this is a very good time for the book to come out because there's so many similarities to that period and this period. You, you even have a mafia connection in yes. your story. Newport to Mafia, yes. Because of Newport? Mm hmm Yeah? <laughs> right. Well, there is a JFK assassination conspiracy theory in the book. Okay. And um, part of that theory is mafia. And uh, I don't want to tell too much about this. Okay, to, but know. there's a lot going on. Now, oh, we've got a, about a lot. minute left, so I want to talk about the book release party Saturday at the <laughs> Baker Hunt Gallery over yes. in Northern Kentucky. Yes. You're really making it into a party. You want people to dress up, you're going to have music. Right, J.D. Hughes will be spinning the tunes. We're even going to have some uh, live performances. Uh, Skip Kaysen and the Buckeye Station and some others. And Miles Kitchen. And um, we'll be giving away prizes for uh, best hippie and mafia contests. Okay, uh, so you can break outfits. out your mafia gear or your bell bottoms or whatever and wear it to the book release party. It's this Saturday uh, at from set 3 o'clock until 7 o'clock at Baker Hunt, which is on Greenup Street in Covington. And if you want some more information, just go to local12.com and click on those Get It Now links for more details. It was so nice to meet you, Ellen. Oh, Thank you likewise. so much. Thanks. Have fun on Saturday. And Thank good luck you. with the book. Thanks. Now here's Tara.